Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks online tutorial. My name is Enoch Garcia with Honest Accounting Group and today we're going to discuss how to track sales commissions in QuickBooks online. So QuickBooks online does not have a an official way to track sales but there are a couple things we can do. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to the gear icon and go to account and settings and advanced and the feature we're going to use is the classes and locations so by clicking the pencil we can turn on the track classes and if we check the warn me when a transaction is in assigned a class I highly recommend this so that your staff or yourself never forgets to include uh, the salesperson we're going to add um, to your invoices now you can assign it to one uh, so we have two options one we can assign it to the entire transaction so if you have an invoice and you're creating an invoice the moment you select the class one time uh, on one of the line items that would be enough for the entire invoice but if you do it one to each row in transaction then you will have to select a class uh, in every single line that you uh, include in your invoice so I'm going to do one to each row and transaction and the reason is that there will be instances where you will pay you will have to invoice the client for multiple services but you're only paying your staff um, commission on let's say one or two line items track locations this allows us to create locations uh, in case you have different stores different divisions uh, and so on so let's turn it on um, and hit save. Now they're both on and hit done. All right. So now what we have to do is add the sales staff and the location. So let's go to the gear icon. Let's go to all list. And now we see we have locations and classes. I'm going to go ahead and hit new. And I'm going to call this sales staff and hit save now we have sell staff and I'm going to create new again call this one John Smith and this one is a subclass of sales staff okay so now we have one salesman that we're going to be track now let's go to all list again and this time let's go to locations and we're going to add a location we're going to call this one Los Angeles just as an example and you can add multiple cities different divisions whatever however your business is broken down once you've done that now let's create an invoice to see what it will what it will look like so I'm gonna select cool cars I'm gonna say we did some design work and I'm charging them 7500 we're gonna do some installation work and I'm charging them 5000 the invoice date and now we have this box up here where we can select the location I'm gonna select Los Angeles and if you need to add a different location you say add new let's say this is Chicago let's do another one New York and so on okay so now we have the class column here and here we have our sales staff and John Smith I'm going to pay John Smith commission on the 7500 but I will not be paying him commission on the 5000 So now I'm going to hit save. And here's the pop-up. This transaction has one or more missing class fields. Are you sure you want to save the transa transaction? I'm going to hit yes. Great. So now I'm going to go ahead and close. And what we can do is now go to, um, let's see all list again we can go to classes and now I can run a report for John Smith and we have the 7500 let's open the invoice the entire invoice is 125 
but we're only accounting for the 7500 we're going to pay commission on. So now let's repeat the process so that we can see another example. This time I'm going to do Amy's Birds and installation. Let's do 75 and say uh, 9500 and another 7500 and once again I'm paying John Smith commission on the 9500 let's go back to April just as an example this time it was in Chicago the total invoice is 17,000 but we're only paying him commission on the 9500 hit save pop up again yes I am sure and now let's move back now we see that it's not there the reason is because we had to make sure that it's included in the date range so I'm going to go ahead and select this year so it shows me everything from January to the end of the year. And now we have Amy's. So if you're going to pay your sales staff, let's say, um, I don't know, 15% commission, now you can do 17000 um, and you're going to pay them 2550 Now let's say another scenario, you're creating an invoice and you have a new staff member that does sales and they sold to Duke's basketball okay so this one was 5500 and 2500 this one was in New York and you're like oh no I don't have Jane Smith in my list so I'm gonna hit add new wonderful so we have New York, June 1st, Jane Smith, 5,500, save. Now I'm going to go ahead and close. Once again, I'm going to select the entire year. But now we still see that Jane's not in here. And the reason is simple. If we go to the gear icon, go to all list, go to classes, we have to put Jane Smith as a sub of sales staff. So we're going to click here, edit, and select as a subclass of sales staff. Save. So now we can run a report for our, our entire sales staff. I'm going to select the entire year. And there we go. Now we have 5,500, 9,500, 7,500 for John Smith, 5,500 for Jane Smith. And that's how we would track sales commissions for our sales staff i hope this video was helpful if it was give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe new videos come out every day um, and if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below we would love to make a video for you and help you uh, run your business more efficiently thank you